Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast Ultimate. We're back in our magmatic engine room, starting out here today, trying something new. I think it might be kind of cool. Um, been trying and doing a few tests here and there. I went ahead and made up the last bit of our magmatic engines that we didn't get to finish up last episode at the end, and went ahead and installed those up. So now we have 128 magmatic engines going for us, and it looks like they're making us around, I want to say, 475 to 500 MJ. It, it looks like it's kind of hitting 500, like for a quick second, so I'm not sure, but I do know that these redstone energy conduits do lose a little bit of power, like 5% at... I believe at each end, I'm not entirely sure on that, but that's just what I read, so I'm not 100% sure on that, so anyway, we've been letting this matter fabricator run for us. Uh, someone actually asked, why don't I just use the mass fabricator? That's actually disabled because of Greg Tech. We are running this with Greg Tech, so we, uh, yeah, we don't have the mass fabricator. In fact, if I typed in mass fabricator, it shows up in NEI, but if I click on it or push R on it, the recipe does not come up, it's actually disabled. The item is still in here, because it's a part of IC2, which is disabled uh, through Greg Tech. So, I've been letting this guy run for a while, uh, not too long, maybe a couple hours, and I've gotten us uh, about 44 UU matter so far, which isn't too bad. He runs pretty quick now, not too bad. I try to make sure I come in here and keep it supplied up with scrap, but you know, we've been doing a lot of stuff inside recently, and I think it's time for us to go outside a little bit. Get out of the workshop for a bit. Yeah, I think so too. I uh, also cleaned up this room. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you guys real fast before we actually get started. This won't take but just a minute. So I went ahead and made up some of these uh, black Zycraft blocks here to you know, give us a little outline. That's another source of light for us. I kind of like them. Uh, I love glowstone bricks, but the whole floor decorated as such kind of hurt my eyes, you know. It, it really did hurt my eyes. This black here, darker colors like this, a little bit easier on the eyes, I have to say. So I went ahead and put basalt pavers down for the floor, and just one little strip of glowstone bricks, just to say, I like you glowstone bricks, I like you. Also, for some reason, I went and poked in the walls. I was going to put some Zycraft blocks in the walls as a strip to match the rest of the base. But then, I just stood here and looked at it without anything in there. Just me having it cleared out like that. I was like, you know what? Some windows might be kind of cool. So I put some glass viewers in here, and they look great. I love the way it feels in here, especially when the sun comes up like that. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. So I have all of our machines hooked up. These are all interfaces, and they're all hooked up to our system. In fact, I just finished some, what is that, uh, uranium here. I went ahead and grabbed some of this uranium. I threw it in our singularity compressor. I let it do its thing. It's sending it right back into our network, just like that. All these are hooked up. I don't have anything automated in these just yet, but uh, hopefully soon we'll get something set up for them. Now, I went ahead and took out the steam turbine from the little room that we have for uh, recyclers and just put it in here for the time being. I am going to be using some of our power from upstairs for to power this room and some of the other stuff, but for the time being, this is what we're going to be using this for. 80%? Why are you 80%? Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't seem right, though. Do I need liquid ducts or something? I'm not, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> I'll figure it out in a little bit. Uh, this is the room. So we have this large room right here. A lot of you guys actually suggested Thomcraft. What I say about that is, you know, when I want to make me a Thomcraft room, this is not really big enough for what I would want a Thomcraft room to be. I would want it a little bit bigger. But maybe, we'll see. If you guys have any other ideas, be sure to let me know. Um, could be an idea. We might we might do something like that. We'll see. And I went ahead and just closed everything off in here. Steam turbine goes there, of course. That's not supposed to be open, but yeah. Pretty much everything works. This flips off that. You guys get the idea. So let's go ahead and jump into today. Phew. All right. So if you guys noticed, I actually had typed in solar. Because I was looking up the recipe for our solars. 
Uh, for a while, I was talking about getting these set up, and we've been sitting on the regular solar panels for a while now. I think it's time to finally get up to our advanced solar panels. We should have enough UU matter now to hopefully get there. Now, we already have this irradiant reinforced plate made up, and advanced alloys, advanced circuits, and solar panels. We just need this irradiant glass pane. In order for this, we just need reinforced glass and the irradiant uranium. That's not too bad. Oh wait, no we don't. We have reinforced iridium iron plate. We need the re iridium reinforced plate. So I need to make this anarium part, which is glowstone and UU matter. Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. Now this isn't what I'm going to be working on all episode. There's actually another project that I want to take care of. Now, how many of these am I going to need? Like six? I think I'm going to need six. And we're going to get to that in just a little bit. Right after we finish this up. Alright, so we have six scenarium parts. Oh, wrong part. And now we're just going to need lapis, redstone, and a diamond. Okay. Alright, we need redstone, which, where did that go again? I've already lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, right, gotcha. That goes there, that goes there, this goes on top, and now we need some diamonds. There we go. We're going to make six of these guys. Put all that back. Open that back up. Alright, so we, now we have everything here in the bottom slots and these bottom two rows taken care of. Now we just need this irradiant glass panes. So like I said, I've already compressed up some uranium. We'll just go ahead and make ourselves up some irradiant uranium. I'm just going to make up all that I have because really I got plenty of uranium. Let's take that there. Get some glowstone out. Which I went ahead and collected some more. And let's just make up like 12 for now. That should be plenty. Probably more than enough. And then reinforced glass, which should be pretty easy. Now we just need some glass. That should work, right? Yeah, perfect. Let's just make up, uh, that should be fine. All right, now it's time to go ahead and put in the full recipe. Advanced circuits, radiant plate, reinforced, wait, hold on, no it's not. We need the UU matter. Give me that back, hold on a second. I forgot, I was getting ahead of myself. Darn you! Darn you. Alright, I believe this is what we need. No. No, it's glowstone, right? The glowstone? Wait, what the? Oh, it's glowstone in the iridium. Ah, duh, Bentley, come on. I'm getting ahead of myself. There we go. Darn it. You see what, you see what, see what happens when I get ahead of myself? Alright, that should be more than enough. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. Now we can do this. Now let's do this. Bam, bam, right there, right there, put those in there, awesome, advanced solar panels, and we have six of them, and we have stuff ready for the next time, so let's go ahead and plop one down, I actually want to take a look at this guy, I might wind up using him today, alright, so he has an internal storage set on him, he has 32,000 EU storage, he can output 32 EU per tick and generate, I guess, the least amount he can generate is 8. And I think he does that at night. I think these actually work during the night time too, which is pretty awesome. Alright, now what do we need to actually upgrade to this one? We would need two iridium plates and a wrench scenarium plate. Alright, that one's not, that part isn't bad. I think it's actually this scenarium that's bad. That's actually, that's not bad either. So the worst part of this recipe is actually the iridium plates to upgrade to. So I think we would just need eight, your, or eight iridium in order to upgrade to the hybrid solar panel, which I could actually make with my UU matter if I wanted to. Alright, cool. Alright, well let's go ahead and jump back up in here. Like I said, there's something else I wanted to do today. And we'll put that aside for now. I'm running a little bit low on wood here and there. As you can see, well, there's a bunch of different types of wood, but there's another reason why I want the wood, to be honest with you guys. Wow, I didn't know I had so many ironwood picks. Cool. 
Uh, there's another reason why I want it, and we'll get to that a little bit later, but just so you guys know, I want a lot of wood. So let's go ahead and get us some tree farm going, which is probably something I should have done a, like way early on. So let's jump into here. Actually, I want mine factory. So I'm going to be using mine factories, harvester, and what was the other one? The planter? Yeah, we're going to be making the planter and the harvester. Now... Let's see what we need for this. We're going to need plastic sheets, so I'm going to need to take some rubber. Whoops. Let's do <laughs> BBER. That's just one hand. be a lot easier that way. we got more than enough rubber. So if I take this, put it back into our induction furnace, this is going to make raw plastic, which is what we need for mine factory machines. I don't know if I have any. i got some. All right, now we need to take this... Place it in a square like so. That's going to give us plastic sheets. That's probably more than what I need right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of it back. We're going to need a piston, machine, a factory machine block. We're going to need stone and machine plates. Okay, so type in stone. Set that up like that. Let's grab a few of those. Don't need too many. Leave those in our inventory that way. If I need them, I can grab them. All right, and then we're just going to need a planner for this one. So, do I have any bricks? Yes, we do. All right, so there's two bricks. Factory block. We're going to need a piston. Let's go ahead and craft some of those pistons. And then on top, we just need three plastic sheets. Now I can put those back. And there we go. A planter. All right. Let's put this and that back. Uh, let's grab a harvester. So we need plastic sheets, golden axe, shears, and a machine factory block. Or factory machine block on the bottom. So let's put that away. Do we have any shears? Uh, we do. I think it'd be easier just to go ahead and craft two. And I'm pretty sure I don't have a golden axe. So let me just grab three of those. As far as sticks go, you guys told me that I got these probably from mining that quarry in the uh, Twilight Forest, and now that I think about it, you guys are probably right. That's exactly where those sticks probably came from, so, yeah. Didn't think about that. Thank you, guys. You guys are good. <laughs> you guys see some of the things that I don't usually. So there we go, Harvester. Got that taken care of. Now there's another one we could make, and that is the Fertilizer. Hmm, do I really want to make this? I mean, it would make the tree growth go a lot faster, but, you know, I really don't want to spam it, like, that much. <laughs> I don't think I really want that many trees. But, why not? Let's see what we need. We're going to need a glass bottle, some leather. Do I have a glass bottle? Oh, we do. What do you know? What about leather? Got one piece of leather. And then we just need that machine factory block. Do I not have any more of those? Oh, they're in my inventory. Duh. Gosh, I'm just not all here tonight, am I? All right, and I should have a piece of leather in there. I'm actually running fairly low on leather, but no, I haven't seen too much need for a lot of leather recently. So there we go, fertilizer. And that's pretty much all I'm going to really need. Do I have any pipes? What kind of pipes do I have in here? I'm going to grab some diamond pipes. That should be all I really need, to be honest. And I'm going to grab me these unattuned tesseracts that I have made up. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to turn most of these probably... In fact, I think four would be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to make it half and half. We're going to make... Four item test racks at first, so we're going to need pneumatic servos, silver, and tin. All right. Did I ever put that in there? No, but I sure did make a stack of those. Amazing. <laughs> Good thing for thinking ahead. I love that. All right. Tin, tin, and tin. I believe that's what I need. Silver? Wait, what did I do wrong? Silver. Oh, silver goes up one. My bad. I always get things mixed up like that. All right, so let's make up four of those. Put that back in there. Let's close all that out. 
put that back in there. And now we need an energy test rack. So we'll, instead of a pneumatic server, we're going to need silver, electrum, lead, and redstone conductance coil. Put that there. Let's actually grab some of these. Because I believe we're going to need those for... We need that for the conductance coil. Yep. So I'm going to come right over here real quick and make those up. All right, so now we have those. We're going to need some lead, which should be right there. And then silver, just like that. Four more of those. Perfect. I should actually put those recipes in. I'll probably do that later. All right, so we got all that taken care of. I think we should have this ready to go now. All right, now, do we have any saplings? What kind do we have? All right. That is one thing we could do. We could make us kind of like a another form of rubber tree, like a farm, more or less. I think that might be an idea. Let's grab a birch sapling. That's just another way for us to get rubber. Let me just put it that way. Could be an idea. All right, and we're also going to want to probably upgrade this. Now, it's not something I've really done a whole lot of, but let me go ahead and jump right back into here, click back onto that, and let's see. Now, here are our upgrades. We can go all the way up to emerald, which I think is what I'm going to make. I'm probably going to make one or two of these. So I'm going to need six emeralds, raw plastic, gold nuggets, and redstone. Not too bad. Should have plenty of emeralds for this. Grab our redstone. The raw plastic, which goes there. And do I have any golden nuggets? I do. Perfect. So let me grab two of these emerald upgrades. And then I'm going to do a lower tier one. Maybe. Should I? Platinum? No. Diamond? You know what? Let's just stick with this one. We'll do three of those. That should be fine. As long as I set this up properly. Let's see what we can, what kind of damage we can do now. You guys are going to notice I went ahead and took down some of the bee stuff for now. Might reposition those, but I really want to put my tree stuff out here. So let's do that. I don't know if those guys are going to be in the way or not. If they are, I'll have to move them. That's just the way it is. All right, perfect. All right, so let's put our planter down here. Let's clear us out a little bit of room. That way we can kind of see what's going on. And I think, I want to say that we should be able to take the item tesseract and place directly underneath it. I want to say we should be able to. I'm not 100% sure on this. All right, so I'm going to set it to owner only, receive only. We're going to set this to frequency 6 and planter. So this is going to have its own frequency. All right, that should work. Hopefully it does. Now, let's go ahead and also provide this guy with a little bit of power. These guys really don't take a whole lot of energy. Pretty sure they don't. And we'll give this guy steam power. So we're going to set that. Let's actually go ahead and check real quick. Curious. Yep. All right. So he has 2,000 stored MJ already. Good. Yeah, I need to put those in there. <laughs> so let's see what kind of area this gives us. Okay, that by default, it's a 3x3, three three, but we have this little slot right here. I'm going to take this emerald upgrade and place that in there so it increases its radius to 11, it says. Now, I don't know how far that is. Are you going to keep planting or not? Yeah, plenty of energy. This is one thing I've noticed about these Mine Factory Reloaded machines. When you do stuff like this, it seems like they take a minute. This is the idle time, like it should be working. I really want this to start going so I can kind of get an idea where I need to place these two. Come on now. Why aren't you working? Why does it do this? It's done this to me and like other things too, and I don't understand why. Is that why? Maybe? The torches in the way. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right. So that might be. Those guys might be in the way. Hmm. 
All right, guys, apologies for the interruption, but I had to run for a quick second. My bad. <laughs> so, let's see. I think... I want to say we should be able to take this and place it... Right here. The harvester, that is. So, I'm going to place them right there. That's the front, and that's the back. I know that's true. Hopefully, this is right. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and place in the emerald upgrade on it right now. I believe the items come out the back of this guy, so let me go ahead and place a diamond transport pipe there. And I'm going to take an item tesseract. I'm going to place one here, and I'm going to place one here. Right. That's exactly what I want. So, Wood's going to send back to Cory. Cory is pretty much what sends straight into my system, my main network, so I'm going to have all my wood store in there. And then this one is going to send to the planter. This is going to be all the saplings. So let me go ahead and actually pick up a few of these. I need you, you, and... I think I only had one birch. Alright, well I'll have to fix that. But a lot of these trees are already growing, as you can see. Let's go ahead and set this up. Now, yellow. On yellow path, I need rubber tree saplings and oak saplings to make their way that way. Now, let's go ahead and supply this guy with a little bit of power. Uh, we'll put the power underneath just for, well, fancy purposes. <laughs> I don't want too many tensor racks showing, I guess. So, we're going to set this to receive only. Let's go ahead and set this to steam power. He should be able to have access to those trees, I would imagine... right see and this is where it's iffy for me because <laughs> I really don't know if it's too far away or not or if it's just being funny all right let's grab some bones I'm gonna just bone mail a few of these oh there it goes it's working so it does, it does grab it. It just takes a second for some reason. I don't know why. But you saw it actually trimmed all those over there. And it stopped at that point there. There it goes again. I don't understand why it pauses like that. I know it's not the power consumption. My quarry's not even running. It's in my hand. So you can see it's the planter is replanting for us already. That's exactly what I wanted. I have a feeling he's going to wind up taking down that one too. But that's fine with me. That's what I'm wondering about. And all that wood should be making its way back into our system, into our network. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I f have had a way of automating this at one point. How did that cow... These darn cows and pigs and everything. You guys keep getting out. Seriously, there's another one over there. Wow. Guys, quit getting out. I'm going to have to make a special place for you guys. And the pigs, too? Jeez. See, I don't understand why it's taking so long. And then it also leaves some of these behind like that too, I guess. If you guys are wondering, I've actually tried this in a different world. I mean, it works really good at times, and sometimes it just kind of derps out, but it's a really effective... Like a really effective setup to me. And I like it a lot. I just don't understand why it's kind of slow like that. Now, there is also sludge in here. You don't have to do anything with it. I really don't find a use for it. I guess you could type in sludge if you wanted to and take a look at it here. Push you on it, see what kind of uses you could get out of it. Uh, here it just shows you can have a sludge bucket. What can you do with a sludge bucket? Can we do anything with the sludge bucket? I guess we'd probably take this and put it into the sludge boiler, which would wind up making, I think, dirt or something like that. I can't honestly remember what it makes. I don't know. It might make fertilizer. Not 100% sure, but you can leave it in there if you want. You don't have to do anything with it if you don't want to. I'm probably just going to leave it in there myself. All right, let me go ahead and see about getting us up some scrap. See, 
There it goes again. And it took down my rubber tree. Awesome! Now the piggies can get out. Don't you even think about it, Porky. Get, get, get in there, get. Nope, nope, get, stop it. Get, stop. <laughs> you guys are annoying. You know what? Don't make me kill you all. Get in the pen. Where's your little friend at? Come here, Porky. Yeah, let that other friend accident, whatever you want to call it, be an example for all of you. <laughs> see, I don't understand why it's taking, why it's going so slow here. You see the planner put them all the way out here. All right, there it goes. All right, now the fertilizer. Let me go ahead and make some quick fertilizer up. I should be able to do it by this, which is scrap and bone meal. And then I believe I can also take this and add scrap onto it and it'll also make two. So if I did that and added a piece of scrap, I think it would make two more fertilizer from that. All right, so let's come over here. I'm guessing it stops like right here. So I'm gonna put the fertilizer right there and I'm just gonna place an energy tesseract under him. I'm not gonna do any piping on this guy right now. So we're going to receive steam power. So he should have power building up. He does. And I'm just going to place in some fertilizer. Is he going to use any? Or are you just going to sit there and look pretty? I seem to always have the machines that like to sit here and look pretty. Oh, wait, right. Emerald upgrade. Derp. <laughs> it would help if he had something to fertilize that was in his range before being updated. All right, so let's go ahead and take, while that's doing its thing and waiting for it to actually fertilize, let me actually jump into my network and take a look at our wood so far. So we should have, yep, we have our oak wood right there. We should have rubber wood somewhere. Where's that? Am I missing this really? Oh, right there. Rubber wood right there, and I'm gonna need some more spruce. Where's that spruce tree at? There it is. Let me actually bone mill that. We can hopefully get some more saplings out of this. All right, let me just. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy. I want to see this guy do some work. I'm doing better than you, fertilizer. Come on, man. Seriously now. You should be fertilizing this place like it, like it was nobody's business. See, up oh, there we go. So I don't really know what activates this guy, but he should be picking up all the sticky resin as well. Let me take a look. Yeah, he is, and he's sending all of that back. So everything but the saplings go into my network, which is awesome. So here we go. We have all these trees. Is this guy still working new? No. Try to see how much stick is in. Oh, we got quite a bit. I think I had some cooked up already anyway, but that'll work out very well for us. All right, well, that's not working as well as I wanted it to. Oh, wait, actually it worked, it's working. There we go. I don't know why these guys are so slow. It seems like they're rather slow here and there. Especially this guy. I don't know why he does that. Why are you so slow, buddy? Junglewood, no. Okay, and the idle timer's kind of glitchy? Not 100% sure on this right now. Looks like he's doing something. See, look, he's leaving all this stuff behind. Kind of. I don't understand you. <laughs> of course, I could have made, like, uh, a forestry tree farm or Steve's Cards tree farm, which could be a possibility, but I kind of like this guy. I like the MFR. I really do. 
I think this will work out just fine for us. So we were actually able to make us some solar panels today. In fact, I believe I could probably, if I really wanted to, I could pick this guy up, place a solar panel on top, and I believe that would keep this guy powered also. So we could just use solar panels out here if we wanted to. We really didn't have to use our energy tesseracts. So, see, yep, yeah, there we go. It's working just fine. Okay, I take that back. Why are you losing so much energy now? <laughs> oh wow, what a what a way to make, oh. Okay, well he's still working, he's just not working very fast. Like, super fast. Probably better just to use, uh, probably be better just to use our power. I'm just saying, it could work. Not, maybe not as effectively, but could work. We can still do it that way, but. This works fine for me. Now, you've still yet to cut down this guy. Why won't you cut him down? Do it! But I still need to leave the torches out here because I don't want mobs spawning. So that's one of the reasons why I'm leaving all the torches out here. Fertilizer's been going a little bit slow. There it goes. Are you gonna... Yes, yes, yes. Get, get it. Alright, so hopefully we have some more birch saplings and we can kind of set that up in our system. Come on, please tell me. Okay, if not, I'll have to go grab some. But I think that's gonna about wrap it up for today. I think we did quite a bit. We got ourselves made up our advanced solar panels. We have our little tree farm going out here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move these guys. I think I'll probably move them over there because it's kind of interfering with my, my tree farm. It's a big tree farm. I like it though, because it's gonna be producing quite a bit of wood for us. But that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys would rate the video, greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.